Okay, today's lesson is writing inequalities from a number line. For this video, you are going to need your inequality foldable as well as your inequality homework packet. So if you do not have those two things, please pause the video and get them. Okay, we're going to start with our inequality foldable. We have already been talking about inequalities, what the four inequality symbols mean, and we're going to go on and use these symbols now with variables to describe quantities that can have many values. So on your inequality foldable, the very first page, let's talk about the less than. If we want to show that x is less than 5, then on a number line it's going to look like this. Taking a look, you'll notice that there is a circle at the 5. The circle is not filled in. It is what we call an open or empty circle. And uh, we have a blue line going to the left. This blue line represents our x variable, the possible solutions for x, all of the possible numbers that x could be. Looking at the 5, you'll notice the circle is empty. It is an open circle because 5 is not a part of the solution. x cannot equal 5. There is no equal sign. It's not a less than or equal to. It's just a less than. Looking at x is greater than 5, the number line would look like this. You still have the open circle at the 5 because x is not equal to 5. And because x is greater, our x line, our x value line will go to the right. Okay, looking at the less than or equal to, x is less than or equal to 5, the number line would look like this. The difference with this one is that our circle is now closed. It is filled in. That is because 5 is a possible solution for x. 5 is included in the solution set. Therefore, we fill in the circle. And if x is greater than or equal to 5, the number line would look like this one. Again, the difference here is that the circle is filled in. It is a closed circle because 5 is a possible solution. x could equal 5. So pause the video if you need to so that you get all, all of these notes down in your foldable. And when you're ready, we'll go on to the next page. Okay, let's just take a look. I just want to go over how to write an inequality from a number line with you. You don't, if you want to write these down in your notes, you can, but you don't have to. Um, look at the first example. When you look at this, you see that the blue number line this is our x value. These are all the possible solutions that x could be, all the possible values that x could be. It starts at 2, and it goes to the left of 2. So that means that x is going to be less than 2. But then we need to look at the circle, at 2 itself at the circle. And we need to ask ourselves, is it an open circle, meaning not filled, or is it a closed circle, meaning it is filled. In this case, it is filled. It is a closed circle. That means that 2 is a possible value, that x could equal 2. Therefore, the inequality is going to be less than or equal to 2. So x is less than or equal to 2. Now, you could write this a different way. You could write this as 2 is greater than or equal to x. It doesn't matter which way you write it as long as you can tell that x is the smaller number and that 2 is the larger number. I know in elementary, with the inequalities, they use the alligator analogy a lot, and that works here too. When you look at your number line, which is larger, the x solution line or the number with the circle? In this case, the number with the circle is larger, the 2 is larger, so the alligator is going to be eating the 2. So whichever way you look at it, whichever inequality you write, that's what's happening. The alligator is eating the two. Okay, coming down to our next line, we're going to start with our x value. So these are all the possible, my pen is not working very good, those are all the possible x values, the green line. 
the circle starts at 1, and because our green line, our x line goes to the right, x is going to be larger than 1. Now look at your circle 1. Is that an open or a closed circle? It is an open circle, therefore it is not included as a possible x value. And just to, to let you know, even though 1 is not included, this x line does not mean whole numbers only. It's all of the parts that are between the whole numbers as well. So even though 1 is not included, you could have a 1.01. .01. That could be a possible x value because it doesn't equal 1 and it is greater than 1. Okay, just a few more examples. If we go on to the next one, we see that our x value line is to the right or to the left of 8, so it's going to be less than. x is going to be less than 8. The next thing you need to do is actually look at the circle at the 8. It is an empty circle, therefore it is not included as a value for x. So our inequality is just x is less than 8. The second example, here is our x solution line. It is greater than 3, so our inequality is going to be x is greater than 3. Take a look at your circle. This time it is a closed circle, it is filled in. Therefore, 3 is a possible solution. So we need to add that equal line to our inequality. x is greater than or equal to 3. And for our last example, here's our x line. It goes to the left of 6, so x is going to be less than 6. And looking at my circle, it is a closed circle. It's filled in, therefore x is also a solution. So the inequality would be x is less than or equal to 6. Now remember, you can still write it the other way. We can start off with the 6. Okay? And because our number line, x value line, goes to the left, that means 6 is the greater number. And it is equal to because it is a closed circle. So your inequality could be written two ways. x is greater than or equal to 6, or x is less than or equal to 6. You need to be able to read it and write it both ways. Okay, look at your packet. Turn to page 3. This page is part of tonight's homework assignment. Let's look at the example they have done for us. We're going to be doing the same thing we just got doing with those examples. We're going to be writing the inequality that is expressed on the number line. So this is my x value line. It is to the left or less than 19. So x is going to be less than 19. Looking at the circle, it is a closed circle, therefore x is equal to 19. 19 is a possible solution for x. Looking at number 1, here is our x solution line. It goes to the left of negative 1, which means x is going to be less than negative 1. Looking at the circle at negative 1, it is empty or it's open. That means negative 1 is not a part of the solution set, and our inequality will remain x is less than negative 1. Let's look at number 2. This time our x solution line, it goes to the right of negative 60. So that means x is going to be greater than negative 60. Looking at our circle, it is a closed circle. It has been filled in, which means that negative 60 is a possible solution. So our inequality is going to be x is greater than or equal to negative 60. And again, you could rewrite that negative 60 is less than or equal to x. That's fine. Either way, it represents the same inequality. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and finish this page for homework tonight. In the meantime, go ahead and stop this video and move on to the next video, which is going to be graphing inequalities on a number line.